kind of no i, I agree with you and, mm. and the media loves it you know med the media loves playing the game of good but muslim and a bad muslim mm. and even when there is any issue about muslims to be discussed in the media the media tend to uh, invite the most polarizing personality to talk about it yeah, yeah? let me give you an example they might invite uh majid nawaz uh you know as perceived the good liberal muslim with anjum Chaudhary, right from the muhajirun group right to discuss the muslim issue mm -hmm. sidelining mainstream yeah, muslims definitely. and yeah. organizations mm -hmm. who should be given the platform but certain type of media, media, they like the entertainment, they like the tension between the two. Yep. And that's why it's so important that you never get your way and understand the nature of each program. But I wouldn't say don't engage with the media. It is absolutely vital. If you're trained, if you have the knowledge, um, we can share experiences to engage with the media because this is where the narratives, where the stories are made about us. And if we don't engage with it, things will not change. So it's uh, Islamophobia Awareness uh, Month, yes. Tell us, what is Islamophobia Awareness Month about um, and how can Muslims engage with it? Um, thank you for asking this question. So um, we know October is Black History Month. Every year we know that different organizations, different colleges, educational institutions, organize countless events to raise awareness about black people, contribution, slavery, and all of that. So the idea with Islamophobia Awareness Month is similar to that, is that we want to raise awareness about the problem, that it exists and we acknowledge it, and also proposed solutions to that, to that problem. Um, and the idea that we wanted different institutions to um, organize events, to organize exhibitions uh, that highlights, for example, the positive contribution of British Muslims to Britain. You know, you'll be surprised to know maybe that 26% of the NHS uh, staff are uh, British, Asians or Asians. And if we were to include Arabs, it can increase to 50%. Now, not mm. a lot of people know about this. The Shards, the Shards, the Shards building in London, right? The most beautiful building, right? Mm. Is owned by a Muslim businessman, right? Right. Uh, Muslim contribute almost 31 billion pound to the British economy. Now, when we know there is a constant demonization of Muslims, the way to tackle that is to highlight the positive uh, contribution in order to normalize Muslims in the public eye, but also in the public uh, sphere. And in Islamophobia Awareness Month, we focus on the wider society. So, you know, in MEND, we we do a lot of work in building the internal capacity of Muslim communities, i.e. Uh, improving their political literacy and media literacy. These are the two things we work on, right? We want more Muslims to know about their political rights, but also engage with political parties in order to challenge Islamophobia. And also, we want more Muslims to do the same in the media. And this is building the internal capacity, which is part of our strategy. The other part is working with the wider community because over the last decades, it was always the left groups, the anti-racism groups, the socialists, the socialist mm -hmm. workers, the labor who fight on our behalf right, all the right, time, right? right? right yeah. Like, you know, Muslims are, because they're progressive and they yeah. celebrate multiculturalism and all of that, which is nice to see, amazing, and we need more of that, right? Mm -hmm. But we need Muslims to lead that fight now. Yeah. We should mm -hmm. not be relying on the lefties to do definitely, it, right? Definitely. We appreciate their work and support, but the change will not happen unless we change within ourselves, right? Mm. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? In Allah la yughghayyiru ma bi qawmin hatta yughhayyiru ma bi anfusihim, right? God will never change the conditions of people until they change within themselves. Now, how do you expect for Islamophobia to disappear, for your kids to be safe wearing the hijab in school, for you and I to wear the niqab, right? 
if we don't ourselves lead the fight or lead the movement to challenge Islamophobia. So Islamophobia Awareness Month is all about creating this movement, yeah? And, and that's why I, I, I encourage people to take part of that. You don't have to be a volunteer of MEND. You don't have to be part of it to organize it, you know, in your institutions or in your schools. Do anything to raise awareness about Islamophobia.